Andrews Hour. Ladies and gentlemen, Julie Andrews with her special guests, Robert Goulet and Joel Gray. Four minutes, everybody. Four minutes before we open, four minutes to go. 240 seconds before we start the show, four minutes, four minutes and away we go. Hey, can I get my pants? I'll never get that dance with Joel Gray. If I mess up that dance step with Julie, I'll kill myself. Let's see. One, two, three, four. everybody three minutes before we open three minutes to go 180 seconds before we start the show hey what about my pants oh i just know bob's gonna have trouble with that noah coward duet you know something i know i'm gonna have trouble with that noah coward duet in the Philippines, they have lovely screens to protect you from the glare. In the mainland states, they have hats like plates, which the Britishers won't wear. At 12 noon, the natives swoon, and no further work is done. But mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday. Out in the midday, out in the midday, midday sun. Do you think we're daft? Yes. Minutes, I can't remember the opening number. I'm not going to get that first step. Oh, now, let's see. The three of us come out, there are two bars of music, and. Tonight we love everybody. Tonight we love everybody we see. I hope today is the day I can say that everybody. Folks are great, including them that are not. If joy can be contagious, then catch this wild, outrageous thing. Not only Bobby, that's my line, Bobby. Uh, well, you come on, no, I went wrong. I, no, you, I you was in because you didn't. Oh, forget it. I'm just. Hey, kids, what's going you're on? You're not so I perfect, know. Julie. But do you believe that? Well, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> Good evening, everybody, and welcome. 
Obviously, we were just kidding, and no one's really angry. That's right, that's right. It was obvious, right, that we were just lost up the number on purpose. Well, <laughs> I mean, everybody knows we would never do anything knowing we were wrong, would we? Of course, my darling. You and I are always perfect. <laughs> I guess that's right, yeah. <laughs> Don't they just make you sick? <laughs> Come on, you two, you're rotten. Nelson, would you please get me out of this? Here's one minute to pay expenses. One minute for dollars. Second through July 22nd. Tenacious people, strong people, people with great imagination, like Ernest Hemingway and Andrew Wyeth, Stephen Foster, and Ringo Starr. It was 20 years ago today that Sergeant Pepper taught the band to play. We have been going in and out of style, but we're guaranteed to raise a smile. So, so let, let me introduce, introduce to you. Influenced. How do people wear these things? <laughs> he takes on the color of his surroundings like a chameleon, the moon child, that is. And above all, he loves to agree. I don't know. I think we should retain capital punishment. You're so right. It's a definite deterrent. Well, I think it's barbaric and... Uncivilized. And... My thoughts, exactly. But it's, it's, it's the only way we have of... Protecting ourselves in this jungle. <laughs> but that kind of thinking is... Outdated. <laughs> I know what you mean. Well, all I know is the Bible says... An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. <laughs> but statistics prove... That there is no deterrent at all. Yeah, but on the other hand... You're you... right. <laughs> but exactly... Uh, the, the law states... Correct. You know, there's one thing I can't stand. There's a person who agrees with everything I say. Mm. I couldn't agree with you more. <laughs> Beginnings are very important to moon children. Their parents have great influence on them in early life. In the words of moon child George M. Cohan, My mother thanks you, my father thanks you, my sister thanks you, and as for myself, that goes without saying. All the candy. I'm a Yankee doodle dandy. I'm glad I am. So's Uncle Sam. I'm a real life Yankee doodle. Made my name and fame a poodle. Just like Mr. Doodle did by riding on a pony. Sweetheart, 
She's my Yankee Doodle Joy. Yankee Doodle went to London just to ride the ponies. I am that Yankee Doodle. I am that Yankee Doodle. I am that Yankee Doodle boy. Should old acquaintance be forgot your eye on that Yankee Doodle boy? have an intensity and a sensitivity that cannot be denied. And they often talk to the world through their art, like Marc Chagall and Ingmar Bergman and Rembrandt. Moon children are subtle but profound. Like their favorite metal, silver, they glow with an inner light. And their relationships usually last, like uh, Richard Rogers and Oscar Hammerstein. They formed an alliance with another moon child, Gertrude Lawrence. Together they created the marvelous musical the King and I. We kiss in a shadow We hide from the moon Our meetings are few And over too soon tend to be light of the party times. But sometimes they just never know when to stop. Sing bum I'll sing the world on the world. Everybody know Kirby. What is it, Alan? The party is over. <laughs> Was I a hit? <laughs> El Bomberino, Herbie. <laughs> Everyone left two hours ago, even the host and hostess. They took a hotel room. <laughs> Trix, hey, 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 come on, let's pick a card, any card, go ahead. No, pick Herbie, a card. no, I do not want to pick a card. I'm tired of your practical jokes and your lampshades. Everywhere we go, you've got to be the life of the party, in the car, in the garage, in the supermarket, in church. Nothing is sacred to you. You even short-sheeted your own bed on our wedding night. <laughs> to my wife, ah! <laughs> you clown. I don't even know if we're legally married. You made the minister dress up in a gorilla suit. 
and the hoofy cushions at my mother's funeral. <laughs> that was just the last straw, Herbie. But, no, 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 it's over. I've had it. I have had it, Herbie. Five years of living with you is more than anyone should have to put up with. You've replaced the death penalty as cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> I'm leaving you, Herbie. No more dribble glasses at the dinner table. No more itching powder in my bathtub. Oh, I've had it. I've had it, Herbie. I want a divorce. Well, gee, if that's the way you want it, Alice. But let's part friends, okay? Well, well, okay. <laughs> is the teacher. In theatrical terms, that would be called the director. And there's not a better example of this than the brilliant director and choreographer of cabaret, Moonchild Bob Fosse. We're very fortunate tonight to have in our show the star of the motion picture cabaret. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Joel Gray. <laughs>
doing? I'm reading the Burt Reynolds Centerfold. <laughs> you know, it's true what they say. What's that? <laughs> Once you pick it up, you can't put it down. <laughs> oh. I think, I think I'll cut it out and make a pillow out of it. <laughs> oh, I'll get it. Are you the butler? Oh, oh, that's very funny. <laughs> Is it worth blowing the tip for? No, sir. I got some, no. uh, some flowers here for... Uh, uh, flowers here for somebody named Alice. Oh, uh, flowers for Alice. Oh, well, they're for me. Oh, isn't that marvel? Oh, aren't they absolutely gorgeous? Oh, dear, I feel dizzy. <laughs> oh, it's uh, flowers. What are you waiting for? The collect. Twelve fifty. The collect. Twelve fifty for these flowers. Well, I, well, I never heard of anything so silly in all my. Oh hell! It's <laughs> don't you think? Sure. Oh heavens! I've lost half of them already. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Alice, what are you doing? Oh my God! Just. Flowers. Now you keep your perfect paws off those. <laughs> They're for me. Are they? Who are they from? Well, I don't know. Let me see. Oh, to to Alice from Gordon mm -hmm. to give to Julie. To give to Julie, it says here. Oh, to Alice, her. I'm sorry. Well, Gordon is rather weird, you know. Yes, he is. And cheap. Sixty. <laughs> oh, I get it. God. Probably for you. Probably an asses. <laughs> Hello. It's for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. With my luck, I'd get a date with the cast of Mission Impossible, and they'd spend the evening tunneling out of the apartment. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Thank you, love. Hello? Oh, hi, Sydney. I'm fine. Friday night? Oh, gosh, let me see. Uh, let me look at the calendar just a second, Sydney. She's got more one-nighters than Neil Diamond. <laughs> well, I can't make dinner on Friday, Sydney, but I could make lunch Tuesday or breakfast. Yes, that's good. Oh, that's fine. I'd have time to get my pilot's license then. <laughs> Doesn't she make you sick? <laughs> fine, fine, Sydney. I'll compromise. Right, we'll have lunch at the airport. Good. See you. Bye-bye. Alice, if my date comes, would you, uh, uh, you know, let him in? I'm going to study the automatic pilot. Oh. <laughs> Send him in here when you're finished. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Wendell. Oh, I know. <laughs> Julie's expecting you. You must be Alice. <laughs> Aren't you? Why must I be Alice? <laughs> Why can't I be Raquel? Alice, I'm sure you've got a lot more things than, than Raquel ever has dreamed of having. Well, I certainly do. <laughs> <laughs> Misery, loneliness, poverty, and this silly hairdo. Can you stop that? <laughs> Hi, Wendell. Oh, oh, there you are. What's Hi. going on? Oh, nothing yet. Hi. Uh, no. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh -oh. Is Julie home? Yes, she is. We had a date tonight. Oh, you did. Oh, uh -huh. Ronald? But, but I, I thought you were tomorrow night. Wendell is tonight. Um, well, why couldn't we make it a foursome? Oh, marvelous idea. Could we do that? Well, uh... <laughs> oh, Julie. Mm. <laughs> Gunga Den's here again. <laughs> yes, she is. Well, I guess we have our foursome. Let's get... Oh, oh, <laughs> what? What? The, uh, oh, Alice, that's so nice. Well, Rashmir has come to spend the evening with you. Isn't that lovely? Come on, Dan. Oh, oh. Alice, have a marvelous time. Goodbye. Nice to see you. Oh, Good night. Thank you. 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 Thank <laughs> oh, uh, oh, would you, uh, a cigarette? 
Ah, no, if you marry at the uh, hazardous to my lungs, uh, Lady Peter, you're a smog in the chest. Oh, well, okay. okay. Um, <laughs> uh, a little bo- uh, a drink. Booze. Booze. A little <laughs> booze, yeah. No booze. Oh, booze. Oh, the margaritas make me noisy, uh, Smirnoff. Uh, no booze. Uh-huh. In the morning. Okay. Uh, oh, you want to dance? Eh? You know. Oh, ho, ho, Halle yeah. Galli, a funky ticket. Yeah, yeah, anything. Halle, 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 I don't believe that. <laughs> he works alone. <laughs> now you get out of here, you curry yo yo. Make your turban and go. You're not even playing with a full deck. Do you know that? I love you. <laughs> oh, oh, look what he did to Bert Reynolds. <laughs> Thank you. 
night they invented champagne. It plain as it can be. They thought of you and me. The night they invented champagne. They absolutely knew that all they wanted to do is fly to the sky on champagne. And chop everyone inside. That's it. It all began. No woman or a man has ever been as happy as we are. You're not at all that funny, awkward little girl I knew. Oh, no. All at once, there's been a breathless change in you. Oh, Gigi. While you were trembling on the brink, was I out yonder somewhere blinking at a star? Oh, Gigi, have I been standing up too close or oh, back too far? When did your spark turn to fire? Become desire, oh, what miracle has made you the way you are. Maybe the sun. I could swim like Lomond and be home in half an hour. Maybe the air gave me the drive, for I'm all aglow and alive. Ringing. 
What do the simple folk do to help them escape when they're blue? However do they manage to shed their weary light? Oh, what do simple folk do? We do not. I have been informed by those who know them well. They find relief in quite a clever way. When they're sorely pressed, they whistle for a spell. And whistling seems to brighten up their day. And that's what simple folk do. So they say. And what else do the simple folk do? To help them escape when they're blue. They sit around and wonder what royal folk would do. And that's what simple folk do. Really? Ah, yes, I have it on the best authority. Yes, that's what simple folk do.
Julia, this. Oh, hi, love. Now, I hate to complain, but everybody's dressing room door has a star on it but mine. Could you do something about that? Well, I certainly could. Uh, what's on your door now? Is there anything on it? Oh, yes. There's a sign that says ladies. <laughs> well, th that's just terrible, Alice. I'll take care of it right away. Oh, thank you. Mm. Have them put a sign on it that says men. <laughs> you can get out of here. Alice, Margaret, you must be ashamed of yourself. Good night, Bob. Thank you. Good night, love. Joel, I loved having you on the show. Me too, thanks, Julie. See you soon. Yes. It's hard not to know, for everything must end. I'll see you soon, I know, knowing time is mine. Good night, everybody. Good night.